Hi folks, today we're going to take a look at Fake Mike Real News while he does his first fraudit of the year. Now, this video I found last night, I've watched it, and let's just see how he reacts to, well, cops actually doing a job that doesn't look like they're doing a job, and them refusing to play his little game of what is this amendment. But before we begin... I want to thank all my new members to the channel. I also want to say we do have memberships now to the channel. It helps me out and it helps the channel grow even farther. With that being said, let's get into today's video and, sh and enjoy, shall we? Instagram, Fake Mike Real News on Twitter. If you guys want to donate, it's Fake Mike Real News. Dollar sign, Fake Mike Real News on Cash App, Fake Mike Real News on PayPal. Yep. The best thing you could do, though, is share the video. The best thing that you could do is share these videos. No, no, no. Already, not even two minutes into the video, and you're already e-begging. Hmm. Seems like frauding isn't really paying the bills now, is it? And I thought you were Mr. Reincarnation of L. Ron Hubbard. As much as I dislike the Church of Scientology's practices, I respect their rights as a religion. And to make fun of their leader like that seems a bit sacrilegious in my book. But again, you're a frauditor. You have no sense of taste or decorum. And I would recommend if people were going to give you money, maybe they should give it to something more well worth it. Like a charity or an animal shelter or a local food bank to help, help their community. Because at that point, they would be making a difference. Not helping you and your fraudits. Hey, what's up, player? What's up? Everything good? That video. That, that puts us in a positive light. I'm looking for that video and you didn't post it. Yes, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah, it's up on my channel, man. I never, I'm never preemptively negative, unless... Shenanigans. I'm calling shenanigans on that. I have seen tons of your videos where you have been negative off the bat, and you've had a predetermined notion against the police. You and your friend, Aselmo. So, there's a lie right there. What's, what's the, uh, what's the tag on it? What's the tag on? Fake Mike Real News. Just search through it to live video. No, you, I won't get you. I'm not trying to film anybody unless something bad's happened to them by the police. This guy's actually a pretty decent officer. I've dealt with thousands of officers across the country. The majority of them are not good. Liar! But this guy's actually a decent dude from my interactions with him in the past. You know what? I'm going to lap this one up, guys. For the sake of transparency and for timing, I will be cutting out a part of this video. The part of the video I'll be cutting out right now is leading up to the next encounter with a law enforcement officer. As you know, Will didn't get a good in interaction with that last one, so now he has to go find somebody else to annoy to get a better one. Come on. Guys, Fake Mike Real News, you can get some merch for a donation. Message me. Dollar sign, Fake Mike Real News on Cash App, Fake Mike Real News on PayPal, Fake Mike Real News on Twitter, Fake Mike Real News. Oh my God, who the hell cares? On Instagram, FakeMikeRealNews.com and FakeMikeRealNews.com. On Facebook. Share the video, guys. See what this guy's working on.
How's it going, brother? Good, Six dash. What you guys working on today? You just gonna like oversee them? Make sure they're doing the right job? Watching them come in and out. Cool. Do you think they're, do you suspect them of maybe doing anything nefarious in there? He's not there to make sure they're not doing anything illegal. He's there to do traffic work, if you couldn't tell by the high-vis yellow vest. And the fact that he's sitting in his car, waiting for trucks to come by, on a construction site. You know, some cities do have officers that have to do traffic work. And some people think it's demeaning, but it's a necessary job. Cool, man. Let me ask you one question. My professor asked me to ask a police officer if they can tell me the five points of the First Amendment. You have to talk to the public information. Did you swear an oath to the Constitution? I'm authorized to speak to me. Well, this is specifically pertaining to your yes. job. What's your badge number? Stop it. Get some help. What's your name and badge number? 71. All right, by the way, by the way, bro. Okay, cool. So this guy just gets paid to hang out here and do nothing all day. He watches these cars come and go. He gets paid to do nothing. He gets to be to sit there with the stupid mustache and do nothing. You know, meanwhile, there's cold cases, there's missing people, there's pedophiles. Yep, that's what I thought. It's a coward. This guy's a coward with a dumbass mustache. I don't see any cowards but you. That man is doing a job for his community. He is doing traffic work. He is a man who puts on a uniform every day to protect his community. He puts on a uniform to uphold the law. He's there to serve the public. Unlike you, he actually has a job and benefits society. What do you do besides e-bag? And don't give me you came up with, with pure intentions because you don't. I've seen tons of videos where you have insulted them, you have yelled at them, you've insulted their families for no good reason other than to put it on YouTube to try to get some clicks and views. You are the coward. With a dumbass mustache. Look at that dumb ass mustache. Let's see what these other cops is up to. They're just, they're just hanging out. Just hanging out. I'm glad I'm paying you to sit there and do nothing. The stupid mustache. All these damn cops got stupid mustaches, bro. Just come here. <laughs> Shut your stupid ass up. Oh. I think they're freaking cool. Let's see what this cop's up to, huh? Cop thinks he's really freaking cool. Uh, I just gotta sit here and watch him come in and out. Again, for timing's sake and pacing, I am going to cut ahead into the next uh, encounter with the law enforcement officers that Mr. Fake Mike Real News wants to try to talk down to and belittle. It's interesting because I think the Central Falls, maybe it's in, I don't know. Yeah, it's right over the line of Central Falls. So let's see what this one's doing. They just get to sit here all day with their lights on. Nice. It's very rare that within a half a mile you can get two different officers. Hey bro, how's it going ma'am? How are you? Good, thanks. What you guys working on today? Uh, something for the National, uh, well no, the Narragansett Bay. The Narragansett Bay? Yep. What do you mean, you're just watching the bay or what? I don't get it. I'm not doing any of the work, but this has to do with the Narragansett Bay. Gotcha, so you just gotta stay here and work, you're with your lights on? Uh, help with the traffic when the trucks come out. Oh, uh, okay, is that coming up soon? Truck show up. Cool. I want to thank you for being uh, polite. Let me ask you one question, sir. I'm going back to college. My professor says I have to ask one officer that can tell me the five parts of the First Amendment. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. Shenanigans. I'm calling shenanigans here. You are not in college, so you don't have a college professor unless you're calling delete laws of a constitutional scholar and that's what you're trying to do you're there just to annoy this cop because you don't like the fact that he's doing a job that you feel is not necessary or wasting taxpayers money you know you're wasting all of our time 
and all of our resources, when you go up to these cops and you ask them the question of, oh, what's this amendment? What's this amendment? And you lie and say, oh, well, my professor told me this or I'm making a documentary. You're not doing any of those things. All you're doing are going up to cops or civil servants and asking them, hey, how much time can I waste of yours before you do something that's going to get you frustrated and I can use it for a clickbait view on YouTube? Because that's what you really do. That's what you're really there for. Be honest with it and we at least understand. Isn't the Constitution your, literally your job? You took an oath to protect it? Why wouldn't you talk about that? No, but I don't think any of these questions are in good faith. What? Uh, dot, 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 yes. No, I agree. The questions are in bad faith. Because even if he gives you the correct answer, you'll find some other reason to complain. You'll find some other reason to think, oh, he's wrong or he's lying. And then you'll find something to try to trip him up or hem him up with. Because I've seen a lot of your videos. And even when law enforcement give you the answer you're looking for, you find some reason to insult them. Like the time you went to the policeman's uh, monument and you met those cops from Orange County, California, and they gave you the correct answer. And you got belligerent and hostile and started insulting them when they wouldn't ask, answer any more of your questions. You're doing this in bad faith because you're not an activist and you don't concern yourself with the First Amendment. You just want to make clicks and views for your YouTube channel. Why, why would you say that? You're walking up to me with a phone in my face. Well, okay, I'll tell you. The, well, the reason this is in good faith is because countless men, women, and children have given blood, sweat, and tears so that you may have the position that you have. We pay you hard-earned tax money and we pay you guys the thing that makes the United States better than any other country supposedly, is that we have our Bill of Rights. That's what makes us different from a dictatorship or communism. And you... Okay. You were entrusted in a very important job to be able to not to uphold our rights. Well, so the reason... What's your, what, I'm not educating you. What's your name badge number? What's your name and badge number? You just sit here on your phone all day. Sit here on your phone wasting our tax money and you don't know the Constitution. You should be ashamed of yourself. What would George Washington say? I know what George Washington would say. You, sir, are a red coat. We pay. Just come here. <laughs> Shut your stupid ass up. So, you think you know what George Washington would say about this man, and you think he'd call him a red coat. You got any proof on that one? Other than the half-baked opinion that you've pulled out of your rectum because I think personally you don't know what you're talking about he is not wasting our time he's not wasting our tax dollars you are you are the one who is wasting tax dollars because he is there to work a traffic job to make sure he prevents any traffic accidents when the larger semi trucks come in and leave it may not be the most glamorous job but it's still a respectable job that he is doing to help protect his community Pay you good money and the reason this isn't good faith is because i've asked thousands of officers the constitution not one of them has been able to tell me the first amendment you sir are <laughs> i'd buy that for a dollar no. pathetic you're a red coat there's missing people in Pawtucket. There's missing people in Central Falls. There are pedophiles. There's untested rape kits. But no, you sit here all day and scroll on your phone and you don't even know the Constitution. How dare you? And you're a coward. You won't even identify yourself. I wouldn't identify myself either, even though it's your policy, if I didn't know the First Amendment Bill of Rights. And that's why I do this, to showcase the fact that 99.9% .9 of cops are ignorant losers who don't know the Constitution. We're learning. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. 
let's try to unpack the insanity and stupidity of that statement. 99.9% of cops are stupid and wrong. Hmm. Can you prove that? Have you interviewed every single cop in every single town, in every single city, village, or township of the country? No, you haven't. Are they supposed to be experts of the Constitution? No, they are not. Are they in charge of upholding the laws of the land? Yes, they are. Are they in charge of protecting our freedoms and our rights? Yes, they are. But do they need to answer every single one of your got you questions? No, they are not. You keep saying that there's all these unsolved cases and, t and test kits and there's this and that and there's... E you know what? They have divisions for those. They have detectives who work hard on those kinds of cases. And maybe, if you think you know his policy so well, maybe you're a cop, but you're not. You're a frauditor who does nothing more than waste people's time and taxpayer money by trying to hem up these cops with these stupid... I'm literally paying you, and you can't even tell me the First Amendment. How pathetic is that? Seriously, seriously, how pathetic is that? Because, you know what, if you would have just told me the First Amendment, like you should... I would have left. I would have said, thank you so much. Wow, I can't believe it. Finally, one officer understands the First Amendment. But no, I came up to you polite, and then you roll up the window when I ask you about the First Amendment of your job. You're a bitch-ass coward, sir. You're a coward, bro. Are you stupid or something? Sitting here scrolling on your phone through Grinder. Meanwhile, we got missing people. Sad, man. Pathetic. Pathetic. I'm watching your video. I didn't see him swiping through Grinder. I didn't see him on his cell phone. You're making that up. And the only thing that's pathetic is the fact that you're a grown man throwing a tantrum like a child. That's what you're doing, and you don't realize it. You're being a child. Act like an adult for once in your life and go read a book or something, watch a movie, do something productive other than harassing cops because they don't want to play your stupid games. Pathetic. I'm just gonna... In good faith. I'm asking this guy about the Constitution. He thinks it's in bad faith. If I asked you... You know, the Communist Manifesto, yeah, that's bad faith. I'm asking you your job. People have died so we have freedoms. People have died so you can have your job and you don't even know it. You just sit in the car all day scrolling. Pathetic. Pathetic. If you guys want to complain, this is the guy that fails to identify himself. 2656 is the tag. And he just sits here every day, all day. Because he has to hold the hand of the workers down there. Make sure they don't get in trouble. That's what he needs to do. He needs to... You're really that dumb? Well, what, what can I say? You do use a whisk for a fake mic. Well, you can go to the dollar store and buy a toy one. Or go on Amazon and buy one. But instead... You want to insult this cop for doing his job. You want to insult him for what? Trying to make sure people don't get hurt. Oh, the, the audacity of him wanting to make sure somebody gets to go home to their family or their loved ones and not be hurt. You are a shame and a travesty, sir. And I wish you would just grow up and stop acting like the petulant, insignificant and insecure child that you really are. And stop trying to say you're protecting our First Amendment rights. Because you're not. You're just there to cause a scene and to get a video made for YouTube. Sit here with this flashy light to make sure he's our guardian. But how can you guard us? How can you protect our rights if you don't know them? You can't. I'm going to check you again, bro. You better know that First Amendment. 
What a loser. What a loser. The loser with the skinny wiener. That's from Heavyweights with Ben Stiller. Good movie. Yeah, this is this is the state of police today, guys. This is what they do. Yes, this is the state of police today where they can't even do their jobs properly due to the fact that you have petulant children like these frauditors come up and harass them and ask them pointless questions and waste our tax dollars. I'm ending the video here. If you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and a comment because it helps me with the algorithm. And if you haven't already, please become a member to the channel. I do offer some really fantastic perks for memberships and it doesn't just help me out, it helps my channel grow so I can bring the best content to you guys. With that being said, be safe, be well, and I hope you all have a great day, and see you next time. Thank you to all my members, and I can't thank you enough for supporting the channel.